In its simplest, most used form, the Doc Server window processes document batches with specified profiles at the same time as you scan. This is an integrated and natural part of PixEdit. Since Doc Server processes the after scan profile in the background, the scanner can be continuously fed new batches and therefore maximize your scanner investment. All you have to do to achieve this is to check Process Scan Documents with Doc Server. However, Doc Server can be used for so much more. You can let Doc Server monitor network folders and process and or convert arriving document batches from your company's fleet of multifunction devices at the very same time as you scan and process local batches. To get started with this, you will have to make the Doc Server window visible, configure folders to be monitored, and specify an after scanning profile to be used for each folder. Let's have a close look at the Doc Server window in PixEdit. By default, Doc Server contains only one line, also called Scanner. This fixed line is special since it is dedicated to process document batches from the currently active Twain scanner. This fixed line in Doc Server cannot be removed. You can add as many lines in Doc Server as required, and each line will monitor a configured folder for the incoming documents or batches and process these with different defined profiles. The monitored folders are typically filled with batches from the fleet of multifunction devices by a document management system needing, for example, to convert or process a document, by a user having a few manual hot folders, or by other doc server lines. Each line may fill a different destination folder. You may instruct doc server to prioritize processing of specific folders by using the priority column. In this example, the fleet of multifunction devices in Madrid is prioritized higher than other tasks. You can temporarily halt processing of folders by unchecking lines in the scan column. In this example, a local PDF slash A conversion process has been stopped. The source column specifies folders to be monitored for each line. As soon as a file arrives in a source folder and Doc Server thread grabs the file for processing, the file will be permanently deleted from the source folder and, if you have unchecked delete source files, a backup copy of the original source file will be stored in a subfolder called Processed. In case a profile fails to process an incoming file, for example, if you configured the profile to name process files from barcodes and barcodes are missing in the batch, the file will be moved to a subfolder called Not Processed. If the file cannot be processed at all by Doc Server, for instance, the arriving file is a sound file in MP3 format, the file will be moved to a folder called Non-Image Files. As a profile fails to process a file in Doc Server, the failed counters will be updated. Source types should be set to Documents if normal batches and documents are expected to arrive in the corresponding source folder. Doc Server automatically decodes a wide range of document types such as office files and emails, PDFs, TIFFs, and even zipped collection of documents. For specific brands of multifunction devices, however, you can set it to XML. In those cases, the processing steps and Doc Server can be defined directly from the LCD panel of the multifunction device. Here you specify the name of the after scanning profile to be used for processing a Doc Server line or folder. Click the drop down list to choose, edit, or create profiles. Each profile may contain a destination folder specification. In this column, you can overrule the destination folder specified in the profile or simply choose to use the folder defined in the profile itself. Here you can follow and inspect production progress in real time. You can see how many documents remain to be processed in each line, how many processor cores Doc Server is using, and other production statistics. You can click any live counter to get more information. Doc Server is primarily used for background processing of batches from your local Twain scanner as well as processing data arriving from multifunction devices. Additionally, you can let Doc Server process document folders filled manually by using, for example, Windows Explorer. Select the documents and simply drag, then drop them onto the desired button for source folders in Doc Server. You may, as an alternative, drop the files to be processed directly into the source folder instead of onto the Doc Server source folder button. Doc Server, when started, will immediately begin to process drop files. 
You can also click the failed counters and then use drag and drop to clean up error situations. Use this button to start or stop Doc Server. Notice when you stop Doc Server, it will, before stopping, finish all ongoing processing threads. If you close the Doc Server window, it will continue to process documents. If you close the entire PIX edit, Doc Server will stop too, but it will start automatically the next time you start PIX edit. Doc Server utilizes the processing power in modern PCs very efficiently, meaning you can work manually in PixEdit at the same time as Doc Server processes documents in the background. In some cases, you may notice a Doc Server line is highlighted by a red color. This indicates Doc Server is temporarily unable to process a source folder. This may happen if the file Doc Server is about to open is the only existing file in the source folder and another program or process is keeping it open. If there are other files to process, Doc Server will process these until Doc Server again is wanting access to the locked file. In other words, a temporarily highlighted line in Doc Server is nothing to worry about, but indicates Doc Server is idle due to other processes in the production line. However, a permanent highlighted doc server line may indicate a source folder for some reason no longer exists. You will then have to recreate the source folder or simply delete the doc server line by clicking delete scanner icon if the source folder or the path was intentionally removed.